Guys, uh, we just had Thanksgiving just a couple days ago. Yeah. We did. This isn't technically like the Thanksgiving episode, but I just kind of wanted to go around and just say what you're thankful for. That's a great idea. Right? I love that. Okay. So sure. I would like to say I'm thankful for this podcast, you guys, the Discord community, Aww, and you know, sweet. good food. You know, it's it's a great yeah. holiday for some good food and yeah, some... All about the sides, you know? Football yeah. and you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Nothing like some food. What yeah. about what about you, Alex? My fellow humans. Um, I, I like... Uh, uh, Kurt, I'm really thinking. You're for, looking around for curtains, uh, wheel chairs with wheels. Okay, um, you're just looking at things in the room. VHS tapes, I re- like those are great. But like in your life, what are you thankful for? Um, maybe any family or friends. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Yeah, yeah I'll get yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fam- family and friends. We, and we got there. We got there. Chris, did you have anything that you want, wanted to? Mm, <clears throat> I think you guys pretty much nailed it. You know, with your yeah, we took yeah, yours. but like, what's your personal? My personal yeah. thing that I'm thankful for. Yeah. yeah. For. You're thankful for any uh, dating apps at the moment? No, I'm not, actually. Why? Why? I. They suck. Hmm. Everything sucks. Sounds like a oh, skill issue. It's a hellscape out there. Oh, sir, you're alone then. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy to say that. <laughs> Every fucking week, new movies get released. How does anyone ever see these? There are too many movies. Welcome to There Are Too Many Movies, family and friends. Hello. And Thanksgiving peeps. And thanks. And thank you. Friendsgivings. Well, friend, yep. And cowboys. Woo! <laughs> How are them cowboys? They're good, right? Yeah, uh, nobody gives a shit. If you right. like the Cowboys, donate one dollar. If you don't like the Cowboys, donate a thousand. Ooh. Can't lose that way, fellas. Straight this week up. on this week on there are too many movies. We watch Close Encounters of the Third Kind, a Steven Spielberg joint. But before we talk about that, we're going to talk about what we've been watching. I'm Chris doobie Collins. Doobie doobie do. What if it was uh, Frank Sinatra that had to do the? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey. Luck be a fucking lady tonight. <laughs> Hit the lady. Doobie doobie do. And the aliens are like, well, we should just land here, I guess. Yeah, it's like, oh, we got to land for Mickey Blue Eyes. Yeah. Yep. His eyes are so blue. By the way, I'm- I want to fuck him. I'm Chris Collins, and I don't have a nickname because I'm as <coughs> interesting as it gets without anything mm, boring. else added to it. Uh, whatever. I'm Josh the Josh Rodriguez of Film School University. Redundant. Mm. And I'm Alex the Josh Wilson. He's not. I am. Simply you am. It's been did. confirmed by other You don't have a fucking people. nickname because you don't got a fan base, First dude. of all, you call me by my nickname. Call me by your Call nickname? Call me by my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> to go fuck a peach, you fucking weirdo. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but I'll do that. Okay. Well, he fucks a peach. Sounds cool. Oh, now <laughs> I'll watch it. James and the Giant Peach. <clears throat> oh. Oh, Timothy. Timothy and, and the Giant Peach. And the, yeah. Hey, uh, fucking give us five bucks on Patreon. You didn't pitch a fucking Patreon. God I'll damn it. I'll cut it in earlier. Do it now. Hey, uh, this is me cutting it in earlier, and I definitely did this earlier and didn't don't need to redo it. I'm starting over. Hold on. Hey, guys. Chris here. I need money, please. I'm destitute. That's the pitch. Give us $5, five on Patreon. This yeah. is Alex, by the way. Okay. I am autistic. Yep. yep. Give us $5 on the Patreon for feet content, yep. bonus episodes. Cock uh, ratings. Cock ratings, bonus features, supplements, if you will. Um and other things. Josh, did you have anything to add? Um I like the rock. Yeah. Um I drink Zoe Energy every day. Um and uh hmm, interesting. Kanye is one. doing nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm kicking it off. Uh the Blair Witch Project, baby. Yes. Still not quite out of the spooky scary mood, even though right. we're yeah. long past it. But uh yeah, I watched this on a VHS tape. Oh, the, the best intended way. way. The intended format. <clears throat> As the filmmakers intended, dude. It is really good. Yeah, it's fucking great. Not quite the masterpiece that I thought it was originally. Mm-hmm. Uh, I but think it's be- still a big fun time. Yeah. I think it's because like since that started that found footage era right you can't look at that as as groundbreaking as it was but now. at the time dude it was yeah. like holy 
fuck. These people are dead. Yeah. But it's like uh, every found footage tape after that has kind of edited upon what Blair Witch did, where it's like there's a lot of footage of them just like that makes it really believable, where it's like footage right. that doesn't need to be in there. Like in the all. hotel room and shit. Hotel room and then just yeah. talking, like conversations <clears throat> or yeah. outtakes of interviews where it makes sense that if it were on a tape that it would be there. Totally. So I don't yeah, know. It, I, I think uh, it lends itself to being incredibly believable. Yeah. The marketing behind it is fucking genius. I haven't seen it in a long time, but if I remember it correctly, like the first hour has barely anything scary in it, right? No, it's yeah, not no. even scary until yeah. like the last 15 minutes, arguably. Right, right. That shit, that shit hit though. Yeah. But whenever uh, Josh is like looking in the corner of the the house spoilers not spoilers is fucking 30 years old yeah i whatever. still i like to just do that when christina comes <laughs> home and she's like hello and i'm just <laughs> looking in the corner <clears throat> did you see that they cut in i don't know if it's a coincidence or not but they use a scream from blair witch project in the movie tar the movie mm. tar hmm. yeah I don't know if it's like a stock scream sound effect or if they actually they are homaging that. that yeah. They like some reference reason. that scream. Apparently, I, I heard a side by side and it does sound like the exact same scream. I, I don't think it's it. Can, the odds of it being coincidentally just a scream that sounds similar are very slim. But and that scream, that entire sequence with that VHS fuzz, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah big time nostalgia dude it's yeah. it's great uh yeah, if you yeah. can find that on vhs like give it a watch it's great that's a rare find that's a sick find for that that you got think is it a rare vhs well pretty much every horror movie on vhs is kind of rare mm. like it's kind of hard to, it's tough to find print run well it's just <clears throat> that those are they get snagged so fast yeah, okay. it's just the part of the vhs like vibes like horror movies get snatched up like, that makes sense yeah. yeah, the lower quality makes it more um, like suspension of disbelief. Yeah, and nostalgia. I yeah, think. but Blair Witch specifically. I mean, that's a cult classic. So that's that's a that is a rare one to find in the wild. Um, I rewatched X this week. Nice. Mm. Um, it is a good movie. Uh, I don't think I'll be bringing it up for top shit at all. Like, it's not. Wow. Did that come out this year? It's not. Well, yeah, and I'm trying to kind of like go through all of my top shit again to really get those numbers oh so that was in your top shit is what you're saying it was in like my big list of top shit of potential i have like 15 or 20 in there you know what i mean top shitters top shitters um and tune in for the end of the year podcast where we discuss the fucking 15 best films of the year it's true and there will it'll probably be like seven or eight films because we'll share some uh yeah i'm sure yeah it'll just be five and we'll all have a different <laughs> the exact orders. same list yeah <laughs> uh, it's our own academy awards but so anyways <clears throat> it's not qu- it's i don't know if it's four three i don't remember what i gave it but it's definitely cinema it's great it is cinema that for song sure. in the middle was uh, absolutely unnecessary the song in the i don't even they, remember that they sing landslide um totally forgot about that on the couch Cuddy does no, Brittany Snow, the blonde girl. I totally forgot about this. Mm. It was totally unnecessary. I was mm. like, this is dumb. And then they were like, hello, my lady. Hello, my sunshine. Hello, my ragtime guy. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Bing, 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 bong. Well, they're singing Landslide, and then Kid Cudi has to come in with his, because he's playing guitar at the time, and then he's like, right. mm, Whatever. Uh, 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 uh. you know what I mean? He's I think I just thing. blanked that out. I was kidding, probably asleep. That. Oh, okay. That's Fleetwood Mac, right? Yeah. The you fact know? that that was believable <clears throat> is sad. That, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, like, I believed you. Yeah, um, the man from Uncle. Do you guys remember Yo, this? I loved that movie. It's, it's a spy ab- movie, right? Yeah, it's an absolute banger, yeah, dude. dude. Henry Cavill, fucking never seen it, <laughs> dude. Guy Ritchie, BB. It's Guy Ritchie at his most awesome action Guy Ritchiness. Oh shit! That really starring Henry Cavill. Nice. Starring Army Hammer. Nice. Hardly know her. Um and Alicia Vikander, dude. Hardly know her. Mm. Hardly know her. Yeah. Which and did. and Hubert Grant, dude. Hubert. Nice. Or Hubert. Hubert. Do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you own this? 
Yeah. Can I borrow it? Yes. Thank you. I Can I borrow you. it before Chris? No, I, no yes. you can't. Thank you. No, I can't. No, you can't. He asked that. if he could borrow it That's first. That's fucking though. bullshit. It doesn't matter that you asked first because I said, Can I borrow it before you? Okay. Right. After well, the, you asked. Okay. Well, and then, I can't say no to my buddy Alex. Right. All right. Well, can I borrow it before Alex? Mm, no, I already asked. Uh, yes. Damn it. That's how, See how this works? But can I borrow it before Chris? Before me, before Chris? <sighs> can I borrow? Can I be the first to borrow it? Period. Oh no! Yeah. Get absolutely dumpstered. God damn! Dude, defeated with logic. You know I'm gonna buy the Italian steel book. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's fucking great, man. One Is of the it? best smi- spy movies ever. Nice. Honestly, more entertaining and fun than the last like four or five James Bond movies. It's fucking hundred percent. I remember we watched that like right when it came out, and I was like, I was like amazed yeah i was like how is this it, it has no right to be as good as it is it totally flew under the radar fucking fantastic i know we're hyping it up but it's great uh um, cinema four three yeah Cin- absolutely cinema a hundred percent four three wow. Wow. it's okay. fucking great um okay. Wally, baby. Yeah. Wally. The criterion i assume the criterion 4k mm. bitch a pixar joint ah. yes. it's kind of interesting that they did a 4k which means like it's not on film. They had to re-render all that stuff in a higher. Yeah. Like, if it's CG, it's like somebody had to like, like sharpen up. all the lines. Supervised Fucking. by the director, baby. Crazy. Dude, that's neato. Um, <clears throat> this might have been my first time watching it all the way through. Oh, really? I think. Because I don't remember a lot of it. Um, It's fucking beautiful. Yeah. It might be my favorite Pixar movie of all time. Sad I can movie. see that. And it's, it's really just fucking great. And I cried, dude. Yeah, dude. Pixar movies, they Pixar. fucking get you, dude. They know how to just fucking play those heartstrings like fucking Steve Vai, dude. What good? Yeah. Nice another analogy. rock, another rock musician. Another fucking rocker, dude. He's a rocker. I plays know. your heartstrings like the edge. <laughs> <laughs> just a glammy guitar. Um, it's really great. Please really check great. it out. Please own it on Criterion, baby. That's how I watched it. Mm. Fuck how you watched it. Disney Plus. Nerd. Eat your mom out. I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) How'd you watch it? Disney Plus? Go fucking blow your dad. (laughs) How'd you watch it? Disney Plus? I don't know. Kill your dog. (laughs) How'd you watch it? Disney Plus? Go eat a banana sideways and fucking blow your head off. It's just <clears throat> funny to picture because it's like, why even eat the banana? Yeah. <laughs> Sideways. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, <laughs> what, what was the meaning of this? You know how I pictured it when you said that was not the eating it like that, like but a, like, like corn, like putting it in your mouth and it like, <laughs> and it like makes a smile. It's like a big, <sighs> you look like Hey Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like it's like, like a, like fucking Godfather. Yeah. Like puts the orange in the mouth mafia. Like, oh. Yeah. Mafia. He does it with a fucking giant uh, with a watermelon, remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, the movie's so good. All right. All right. Anyways, Wally's great. Anyways. Well, Wally's great. Uh, Wednesday on Netflix. Oh, is that all out? This is the new uh, Tim Burton joint starring Jenny Ortega or Jenna Ortega. Oh, so me. you're a normie. What do you mean, dude? I just, Christine was watching it and the amount of times they say normie in that show. Honestly, the dialogue and everything about it is cringy, but uh, Jenna Ortega is great. So it's a series, right? It is a series. How many episodes are? Eight. Eight. You watch it all? Um, I think I'm on seven <clears throat> episodes. Wow. Yeah. So it's enough to for you to keep I watching. was kind of like in and out. Yeah. Okay. I was halfway paying okay. attention. Yeah, like <laughs> texting, watching E Fucked. What? Sleeping. Yeah. It's texting, sleeping. Uh, and just, it's crazy because... It is, I want to say 99% of the shots are a close-up of Jenny Orte- Jenna Ortega yeah. mm-hmm. as Wednesday. Okay. If you go back and watch it, it's like, fuck, every frame is her face. Hmm. They're really just relying about. on just her existence. To- yeah, yeah, but she's great. <clears throat> yeah, There's she- a dance sequence you got to see. It's pretty fucking phenomenal. Now I'm on board. What? A dance sequence. Which is acting. Uh, as it has been proven, and I have been uh, deceived by my own thoughts. Dancing is acting. Dancing is acting. Sure. <laughs> Source? Every musical ever. Sorts? Er, Sorts? No, keep that. Source? <laughs> <laughs> Every uh, fucking late 2000s music video. True. 
Yeah, you know, I saw an interview Directed by Spike Jones. I saw an interview oh. with uh, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I want the fucking Captain love. To be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Spike Jones. He called his shit not. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I saw an interview with Jenna Ortega where uh, maybe I'm insane, but like the interviewer was like, you, show us the Wednesday Adams stare. How do you do that? And then she just goes like that. Ugh. And everyone's like, wow. Oh, and I was no. like, hey, she's just looking. She's the new Bill Skarsgård from. Uh, totally. She's nice. Aubrey Plaza. She's the new Aubrey Plaza. Uh, you know Aubrey Plaza is like thirty eight. Why can't something? we say Aubrey Plaza? I don't know. I'm hungover. That's Aubrey my excuse. Plaza. You said thirty eight. Yeah. Ugh. Isn't that crazy? She's so old. She's basically dead. It's amazing. She looks great. She looks though. great. Someone told sure. me she's like forty, and I was like, <clears throat> Nah. Alexa, how old is Aubrey Plaza? Licorice Pizza. <laughs> From Wikipedia.org, Joseph Renosa Plaza. Who? Born January. Uh, Alexa, 1970- shut the fuck up. What a useless piece of what a shit. What a piece of it's, fucking garbage. It's Go getting, blow your dad, dude. It's, it's, uh, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Usually technology gets better. Coding and fucking learning. This is like devolving. Learning. It's devolved. Like she's losing her mind. She has dementia. <laughs> <laughs> Our Alexa, Alexa has dementia. dementia. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> Whatever. Uh, Wednesday's fine, I guess. Um, just watching it for Jenny, Jenna Ortega. She's great. Okay. Um, And then... That's it for me. All right. That's it? That's it. That's it? What? Are you sure? Are you sure about that? I mean, I'm lying. It's not it, mm. but... He has more. I'm moving on. What? One moment. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Just the same format Sorry, every week. Sorry, I thought you had more. Same format every thought week. you had more. All right, I got... First up, Suspicion by Alfred Hitchcock. I watched this specifically because of the Tarantino interview where he mentions this. Movies happened later. Later, later. right. Yeah. Why are you watching a movie that happened before movies? You know, the whole time I was watching it, I was like, Josh and Chris would fucking hate this. <laughs> Is it black and white? <clears throat> yeah. Well, I'm out. Um, <laughs> Just kidding. Shout out to Dr. Strangelove. <laughs> it's... Uh, Shout out to Mad Max. It's black and chrome edition. True, though. Logan. Um, it's fine. That's about it. It's Cary Grant playing a guy that's basically just a piece of shit. Just heard an old ass name. Cary Grant. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like an old Hollywood name for sure. Yeah. You know, whenever classic movies are brought up on the show, it's we're like just mids. so dismissive. We're just like, this shit's mids. <clears throat> <laughs> like Well, le- your favorite movie is Citizen Kane, though. It's not. It's a fact. That's no. Is it not, Josh? Citizen uh, Lame. His no. You know, we both know what his favorite movie is. Open season two. He has a poster of it over there. And it's Birth of a Nation. Anyway, right. <laughs> of course. Um, and it's underrated. It's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's a commentary on society. It's not it's really, a great, a true American story. It's actually misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a joke. Holy fuck. <laughs> you just, yikes. <laughs> it's fine. They screened it at the White House. How bad can it be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, uh, Triangle of Sadness. Oh, shit. Boy. Boy? Boy, howdy. I fucking love this movie. Damn. Oh, let's go. <clears throat> Did you rent it, stream? I own it now. Digitally? Because that's the only option for watching it. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm fine with it, though. I loved it. Um, yeah. It's great. I don't want to spoil too much, because I know that you both wanted to watch it very, very soon. Yeah. Um, I feel like such a douche fuck for saying it, but it literally is a commentary on capitalism. Of course. Um, it's fucking we, we great, We live though. in a society... We, genuinely do live in this society a yacht society yeah but triangle of sadness how is it it's great cinema uh i would say it's four three ah, ah. um people are some like pretty divisive online that i've seen about this movie really i've heard nothing but good things that's at first yes and then i googled it and people were like this sort of didn't hit for me and blah, blah. but it's fucking great i think it's awesome mm. everyone should watch it that same director did another <clears throat> like very artsy film called the square i believe it was and it starred the dude that like makes he like he's in all of like the ape movies where he's playing like an i've seen that scene you know what I'm talking it's about like andy, andy circus no not andy circus but uh he plays he plays one of the apes anyways he does that a lot because he's very good okay. at playing the apes whatever um fuck it was pretentious and 
and uh, really bad. I did not like it that. It sounds like it, movie. honestly. But, I mean, if I didn't watch the trailer at Texas Theater that we all saw for Triangle of Sadness, I would have never watched this movie. Right. Right. Doesn't the square make fun of like high art? And like, yeah, like it makes fun of like art collectors and buyers again, that kind adds of up making base, fun yeah. of the rich. It's the same thing. Right. Yeah. So he has that, that, uh, so I'm a little skeptic on tri- Triangle of Sadness, even mm-hmm. though I really like that trailer. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad you liked it. Hey, what's your next movie, Ruben Ostlund? The Circle? <laughs> Put, putting shapes in your titles. You know what I mean? Oh, oh good point. See what I, he's, wow. He's going to get Criterion collected and then it's going to be fucking the Shapes trilogy. Yeah. The yeah. Shapes collection. Anyways, we nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, uh, Early American on YouTube. This is huh? This is a woman in the present day and her guy friend that sh- they probably fucked. This is just a live stream of a woman sleeping. No, oh, man. <laughs> I do watch those, though. Um, they So she cooks and lives. I don't know. She probably doesn't live there. But sh- it shows her in this tiny house that's supposed to be like 1750 or something like that. And they dress and eat the way they did back then. But also they do drama skits. Wait, you brought this up before. No, no, uh, that's Townsend's. That's a different YouTube channel that also does old timey food. And what is your obsession? Have you watched anything else? The Victorian era. Early American it's earlier, but yeah, awesome. early Americans is what it's called. Yeah, it's a YouTube series. Yeah, so they'll do like cooking stuff where they're like a Thanksgiving supper in 1820, and then they'll do when a pirate comes for his money, <laughs> and they'll do a drama skit where they're looking for Blackbeard's treasure, and people are coming to deceive them. And you know what sucks? That has probably a thousand times more views than what we do yeah they have a million views god damn it and it's the <laughs> worst acting i've ever seen <laughs> why probably, are you watching this because it's it's so bad it's good all right it sounds like uh <clears throat> that's probably why it has millions of views it's just the worst no because i go into the comments and people are like this is your best video yet <laughs> this was amazing you're a great actor so mm. so would you recommend it yes also, cocoa butter on YouTube. It's uh, people uh, raiding each other's southern food, but not, oh. not cocoa melon. No, but that your is other, four your, three. Your other favorite show that is really good. I've watched every season, and I do on the box set. It Steel is, book. It's an anime. It by definition. By definition. So, did you read the manga for cocoa melon? I did. How was that? Ten out of ten. It's better than Twentieth Century Boys. It's nice. great. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> he could have made anything up right now. Yeah. That's 20th Century Boys. Ah, yes. Oh, it's better than Boo Boo Kitty fuck. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> it's better than Evangelion <clears throat> fucking Bull Your Dad. And that, and that is how you say that. Colon. It's colon, correct. you will not be bracket re and bracket born. Let, okay, I'm going <laughs> to actually try and come up with a, a real anime title. Okay. Or a manga and title, I'll right? tell you if it already exists. Okay. <clears throat> Evangelican victorian crossroads colon or how i became god squared unfortunately that already exists <laughs> <laughs> and it's a monkey princess yeah <laughs> anyways whose name is fin fam <laughs> <Fim Fam. laughs> anything else any more youtube series nope okay, i want to make an anime title you Go didn't ask it. us yeah uh, it was just my let's, bit let's, and that's all right, it. so all right. it's over now uh, Prince Mookie Dookie and the <laughs> erythreal, uh, celestial bodies of Nephron Ka. Okay, but what's the colon? What's the subtitle? Colon, I'm alone. You fucking nailed it. That's also an anime. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, um, try and make up one that doesn't exist. All right. Since you know all of them. I've had sex. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. And I challenge any artist to create an anime poster for our um, animes. Okay. Is that anything else in your watch list? Nah. All right. Let's move on to the movie now. We can, honestly, if you want. No. I mean, no. What are you, Chris, what have you been watching? Okay. <laughs> the Fablemans. <laughs> Ooh. I saw the Fablemans in theaters, the new Stanley Spielberg joint. Arguably. Stanley, Stanley Spielberg. 
<laughs> I'm so hungover, dude. Stanislav Spielberg. <laughs> yeah. uh, arguably very poignant for our film this week, huh? Yeah, that's kind of why we did Close Encounters. We <gasps> Steven Spielberg is uh, relevant right now. He's dropped a new film, and we... What what are what are our thoughts on Steven Spielberg? Even going into to thoughts to on this. Steven Spielberg. Yeah. His, well, his great stuff are, are all time greats, uh-huh. and everything else I could give a fuck about. Yeah, mm. he, I mean, he has some of the most legendary adventure films of all time. Yeah, like Spielbergian is a thing where it feels big and bombastic, and the John Williams score always. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. And which honestly, you got to give a lot of credit to John Williams for why oh, a Spielberg yeah. film feels like a Spielberg film. But um going into Fablemans, um <clears throat> I had no idea this was even coming out and didn't hear much about it. I went in completely blind. I only saw the poster. And it was like a family watching a movie. It's what it looked like. And I was like, okay, it looks like some old Hollywood period piece thing. And turns out it's an autobiographical joint about Steven Spielberg and how he fell in love with movies. So it follows him through his childhood and into like, you know, his formative years and what made him start to become a filmmaker, which I can feel in your eyes is making you check out. Yeah, I don't... If it's autobiographical, yeah. I just kind of... Fucking whatever, I dude. get that, right? Yeah. It's, it's like people get old and they start looking back. It's always how it they're goes. Like, I'm they, a great man. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> like... You're like, you know what? My story needs to be told. Yeah. You know, it's like... Yeah. yeah, it's fine. It is very wholesome and I think it's Oscar bait. I think the Academy will eat it the fuck up because yeah. it's like... It's wholesome? Spielberg. Yeah, I'd say it's wholesome. So uh, you're saying so Schindler's List is wholesome? <laughs> I watched. What the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? I watched um, Spielberg this week, which is a documentary on HBO Max, which is about Steven Spielberg's life, obviously. Oh, and there are a lot of correlations between what happens in obviously the documentary and what happens in the film. So I can kind of touch on the Spielberg documentary, okay? And your experiences watching the Fable Woman. Please do. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um. So it kind of starts off with like his fascination with trains and and like wanting to like make action sequences already at like a, such a young age. So he li- literally crashed his dad's toy train set, which is in the documentary as well. Like hit his footage from it. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, as far as like the the film goes, like <clears throat> the first 15, 20 minutes were you super invested in this or no i i honestly i didn't get invested until um i mean not to spoil the fablemans but there's like uh there his parents have like sort of uh um they start to have conflict basically and that's when i was like oh now i'm invested because the first I don't know, 30, 45 minutes, I was like, oh, Jesus. Uh, I just didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even pick up that it was a Steven Spielberg autobiographical joint until, God, like halfway through the movie. I was like, oh, this is about Steven Spielberg. Hmm. Is the main character not named Steven Spielberg? It's like the Fablemans. It's like Joel Fableman or something. I don't know. Something like that. Some weak shit. They changed the names, yeah, but whatever. But then throughout, I was like, okay, this is getting very... There's a lot of like nudges, sort of like winks and nudges where it's like... Where, yeah where like he gets bullied and the guy's like don't tell anybody about this and he's like yeah or like i definitely won't make a movie about this or something like that. and it's like okay like there's moments like that where it's like uh it's not as cringe as i made it sound it's better than that I yeah mean. let's yeah. go visit the jones family in indiana <laughs> yeah fucking god yeah did, what did you think of can i get the terrestrial a little bit extra of the terrestrial <laughs> you mind? yeah Hey, uh, your mom called. You need to phone home. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then their friend Ryan, he's about to have his penis severed. So he's like, we got to save Ryan's privates. Yeah. Right. That was in the Fablemans. Yeah. Ready PG-13. Right. And then a T-Rex. Yeah. Yep. Goes to the same school that he does. And that's... They just call him Rex. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, you know, this is a really good story that takes place on the west side. Oh, Wow. Well, wow, because they live in California. They moved to California. What a dumb fucking movie. And then he's do. got a professor named Schindler who's always just making lists. He's always yeah. writing stuff down that Schindler. Yep. He's a wacky fella. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, Fablemans is pretty good, actually. What do you think of uh, Michelle Williams? She's a great actress. She was great in this. <clears throat> um, yeah. I, Paul I mean, Dano. Paul Dano was great. Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen's fine. His character was the sort of quirky friend, and he, he nailed it. 
it's a really revealing doc like not documentary it's a really really revealing story about spielberg i didn't know any of all of that stuff and it was a it was a good little it does tap into your nostalgic love of film though i think like shows him like editing on old like little 16 millimeter gadgets and stuff and it's really really cool um making his first movies and um you can see like uh yeah like his uh the foundation for his love of film being crafted it's good it's really solid um i'd recommend it it's not like four three but it's cinema almost Ah! by definition it's like a movie about movies you think we're going to be hearing about it during award season (sighs) yes it's spielberg it's because it's not even because it's good it's because of the content of it that the academy will slurp that shit up yeah what okay what are your your guys feelers currently on like the best picture God, I I'd have to look at a list of ones, yeah. I, 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 I can't remember shit like that. Because we have ours sort of right, right. in our mind, but it's like, you know. Those, I, will, those will share like one or two movies with the actual. Do we yeah. think Everywhere All at Once is going to be nominated for I anything? Don't, I don't know. I don't think it'll be nominated for Best Picture, although I did see that Kiki Kwan is in talks for Best Supporting Actor. Mm. Yeah, I think it'll get like the consolation prize you know like visual the, effects yeah and, like the nods yeah probably visual effects it'll, it'll, it'll be it'll get a nomination but it doesn't original sh- screenplay yeah but it doesn't strike me as something that the academy will let win if that makes dinosaurs sense dinosaurs watching a movie about loving your parents yeah like, fuck that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly they're like Fair butt enough. plugs ew yeah yeah they just don't fuck men's dicks it. only yeah so uh i don't know what's in what's on your plate for academy stuff you think uh definitely i think every everything everywhere has a really good chance to be nominated for best picture i don't know that it will um i would really hate to see causeway, causeway. Be nom- the jennifer lawrence lawrence joint the apple tv plus i never even heard of it mm-hmm. it's almost as if we literally just talked about it last week <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. it's fine it's whatever yeah because it was just a mids movie but you think it's bait like it's you think it's <clears throat> oscar bait a thousand percent yeah Shit. it just has that like oh this is a nothing story about yeah. some sad people you yeah. know what i mean like, yeah, yeah, always yeah, yep yeah, it's I like oh it. nothing is resolved there are no there's no real story here it's just like let's watch people be sad for an hour and a half and nothing is resolved. How brave of a movie. Exactly. Let's make a bad movie version of a Dostoevsky book. Starring a powerful white woman. Let's go, baby. Great. Give it an Oscar. Exactly. That's the feel that I'm getting. Uh, Let's see. What what, what, what else? What other fucking... I think Fableman's has a really good shot. Yeah. It's... It just seems like an Academy's movie. Um... It's it's literally like they might as well have called it Oscar please. Yeah, like, that's what it feels. Do you think like. Tar has a chance? Yeah, yeah. As as someone who saw Tar, yes, I do. I think that's that's Kate Blanchett, right? Yeah, yeah. I wonder what it would win. I'm sure a nomination for, for best picture, maybe screen, probably score score. Well, I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen it. I maybe just assume screenplay. based on the content. And unironically, like not even fucking joking around. I know we're we're. C- comedians we're having giggles oh, we're definitely comedians and yeah. we're just always <clears throat> joking around on here dude yep but to take a serious note bring it down top gun maverick it'll probably get oh fuck it's gonna get cinematography it's gonna get all yeah. those cinematography special effects but <clears throat> i'm saying i'm saying that could be best picture for my money. You think just by virtue Wait. of the amount of money it brought in and the fact that it's like such an insanely huge production? I don't think it'll even be nominated. I I don't think it will, but... I think it's too action-y. Well, what do you, so what do you mean? It should. Oh. Okay. All right. I can right. see a case for you wanting it to be nominated. It's, but like, if you think about it in terms of like the people that went back to the movies this year... Right. Yeah. Nine <clears> times out of <throat> ten, it was for that movie. And like, you didn't have to know necessarily the top gun story to you, get it you just have to know what planes are yeah. yeah like and you didn't have to you know it wasn't uh you know phase four of a fucking you know franchise it was just a great action movie right it was very patriotic yeah it made you love america for two hours even though they fought faceless goons you know like, yeah it was exactly like, and they're and they're like it's russians wink wink yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much um yeah, I think I, I for my money I would put it up there. Okay. 
I think if we're doing, but like, you know, it's we... gonna go to the dress or fucking yeah, you know what I mean? the movie yeah. dresses the starring castle. yeah, starring yeah. Kira Knightley always. Oh, <laughs> you having a giggle, mate? <laughs> you fucking what? Do you love me or not? Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's the movie. Straight up, that's Kira the movie. Mister Darcy. Yep. Anyways. Anyways. Ready for what? I have like fucking five more things. Oh, to talk are about. you serious? <laughs> No, For what motherfucker? I, I said one movie, and then we went on a segue, fucking tangent. I thought you were gonna segue that into. I, that would have been smart for me yeah. to segue Instead that you way. Let off with I your let off a power hitter. Uh, fucking, My bad. Fucking king of premature nuts. <laughs> <laughs> the undisputed champion of. <laughs> um, bones and all. Ah, the Timothy Chalamet vampire joint. Huge recommend. This was a really really good movie. Do you think people that aren't Timothy Chalamet stands will enjoy it? I think so. It's really beautifully shot. It's it's like such director a director of Call Me by Your Name fame. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's great. Luca and Suspiria, the remake. Oh hell yeah. That was oh, a great Luca movie. Luca Magnata. Luca Magnata, yeah. Yeah, that guy. He directed yeah. it. Oh, uh, anyways, Bones and All was really good. I'd highly recommend it. Check it out in theaters. Um Timothy Chalamet. Just ate up. Mark Rylance. Mark Rylance. Oh, he's fucking great. He's fucking great. <clears throat> yeah, he was good. Bridge of Spies. I still haven't seen that. I need to borrow it from you. Son of a bitch. Is that Steven Spielberg? Is that where you brought that? I didn't know that either. Yeah. Tom Hanks? Yep. Okay. It's really great. Well, check out Bones and All. Highly recommend. It's very sad. It's very romantic. It's very good. Top. I'd say it might be in my top shit. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. It's I really gotta go through with like everything from this yeah. year though. I usually like, do that the week before. You motherfuckers keep your list during the year. I just it's forget to much. do that. Just keep a note in your phone. You fucking do letterboxed every day. I know. I but I don't have the hindsight. I have not had the hindsight and starting Jan one to fucking do yeah. the top shit. I'll do it this year. Fuck. <laughs> 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 uh the thing about my top shit is recency bias really is a thing. I need to take that into account yeah. because I will 100%. That's why I'm going back to rewatch yeah. the ones that are yeah. currently <clears throat> on my list. Yeah. Because you watch a movie and then the next day you're like, that was the best thing of the decade. Right. Yeah. Like, like X. I was like, fuck, that was great. It was, you know, better than Pearl and all of this. And then I go back. I'm like, I don't know if it was better than Pearl, but it was good. I think it's better than Pearl. I think it's safe to say that it is. Yeah. But like, I definitely didn't like as much as I liked it the first time. That's fair. Didn't we see that in Texas Theater? We did. Yeah. We saw both at Texas Theater, I thought. Yeah. That's a that's the vibe for it. Yeah. So I think that helps. One goddamn fucked up <clears throat> horror picture. Right? It's got really awesome marketing and all that stuff behind it, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's for sure not 4-3. You know what I mean? Mm. It's cinema. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it hit four three for me either. <clears throat> um, I was on my Catherine Bigelow ish, and I watched Zero Dark Thirty and The Hurt Locker. Mm. Whoa, fucking bangers, dude! Both, both. Shit. By the way, um, uh, Zero Dark Thirty, the cinematographer from Dune and the Batman did that. Holy Greg shit. Fraser, yep. dude. Yep. I haven't Wait. seen that one. That's the SEAL Team Six one. Isn't you it? haven't seen Zero Dark Thirty? Uh -uh. If you want to borrow it, you can. It's fucking. Awesome. It's uh, Jessica Chastain. She is like pursuing Bin Laden. It's really good. That di that dinner scene. Dinner scene. Is there a dark thirty? Well, they're at dinner, and then. Hey. That's okay. <laughs> Anyways, Zero Dark Thirty is really great. It's about the SEAL team operation that. Um, neutralized, neutralized Osama bin Laden, aka fucking capped Osama bin Laden. <laughs> yeah, he did get fucking. It's really cool too. to our knowledge. Yeah, it's knock all... knock, doom. dude. It's it's really cool to watch without like explanation, like all of their tactics, like the just the way they, I don't know, the breaching and like the it was all from firsthand accounts, which is really cool. really cool to watch. So highly recommend. You know, because it's sloppy too. It's <clears> not well done. It's not like. Hollywoodized. It's like, I mean, one of the hell, I mean, I won't spoil it, but you should watch it. I don't know how much truth there is to this, but I think it's so funny that one of the things, like after Bin Laden got capped, 
the U.S. Army was like, he had an enormous hentai collection. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff on his hard drives that's really Just weird, actually. One of the many... One of the many similarities with the lot in Bin Laden that I have. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I appreciate art. Yeah. Uh, the hunter talked? Yeah, he was like, give me the gabagool. <laughs> Anyways. Nah, he wouldn't eat gabagool. Um, do you own the Hurt Locker Steelbook? Hurt Locker, no. Ooh, big I, miss. I assume you do, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, it's really cool looking. It is a good one. I looked it up and I was like, you know, I like that movie, but I don't seventy dollars like that movie. Seventy dollars? Something what like fuck? that. Sixty. It's a rarer one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you think you'd be able to afford seventy dollars? I guess not. I guess yeah. you don't have seventy dollars lying around. I know. I'm just <laughs> such a broke bitch. Um the Hurt, I yeah, I bought Hurt Locker for, you know, like eight bucks a use. So it was like Love it was it. one of those movies where it's like, yeah, I'd own this, but I'm not gonna Forty dollar, fifty dollar steel book. So I bought uh, Mission Impossible three yesterday. I was like, I need to own this fucking movie. Who are you? Uh, you have a wife. You have a wife, a girlfriend. I'm gonna find her. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt her. <laughs> Philip Seymour Hoffman as a villain, dude. Directed by J.J. Abrams, baby. Oh shit! I forgot about that. Yeah. Hell yeah. The introduction of Simon Pegg's character and Ving Rhames to the Mission Impossible universe. <laughs> M.I.U. The <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> the Mission Impossible Metaverse. The multiverse of missions. Uh anyways, uh also watched Her Locker. It's fucking great. The mom, is that what you're trying to say? The, uh, the multiverse of, of missions. Of momness. Exactly. That's the one. Uh I also rewatched Social Network because Aaron Sorkin. And it's great. That's all I'm just gonna breeze through it. But Social Network is fucking four three. Been on my Aaron Sorkin ish. Let's go, baby. Did you finish uh Newsroom? Newsroom? I did overall thoughts i mean it's i remember people saying like the ending to it is um kind of abrupt and it is but it's great still there there's only one thing i have and one complaint i have with the ending and i don't know if i should say it because it's kind of a spoiler you guys have seen it though right yeah all right yeah. i'm gonna edit this out but did you watch the uh steve jobs movie i no it's not did you even watch the clip? I watched the clip I, you sent me. And that wasn't... Not like, impressed. <sighs> Just so fucking I wrong. don't get it, dude. Did you send him the montage of the argument? No, uh, it was... Uh it was just a quick line because I didn't want to ruin the best parts of the movie. Oh. It was just whenever... Uh, no, uh, it's got a one in six chance of working. God damn it. Well, well, we're not a pit crew at Daytona. This can't be fixed in seconds. You didn't have seconds. You had three weeks. The universe was created in a third of that time. Well, someday you'll have to tell us how you did it. <laughs> Fucking burn. Let's go, dude. It's a stork and burn. Whatever. <laughs> it's not. I don't. I don't care about Steve Jobs. I don't like Aaron Sorkin scripts. I'm not gonna watch it. Fine. Whatever. It's wrong as fuck. Unless we do it for an episode, baby. And then I will pretend I did watch it <laughs> and simply not. All right. All right. Let's. All right. You want to yug it into it? Yeah, get into it. Close encounters of the third kind. Oh shit! Thoughts is old. It's an old movie, 1977. Those are my first thoughts. Yeah. Um. My first thought is banger year for John Williams. Yeah. This and Star Wars. Mm. Yeah. Fucking crazy good. I mean, this. But to be honest, this movie doesn't really have a score that stands out to me. No, it just has moments oh. that are very epic. Sure. You know, I, I like, there's not like a like a recognizable motif the aside from the bing, keyboard. Bing, bing, bong, bing. Sure, come on, man. That, uh, yeah, it's a five note like motif, but it's like I I didn't list. There's only a few moments in this movie where I was like, that sounds kind of John Williams esque, but not like that bombastic like huge score John Williams is famous for. I it mean, felt, look, he did Star pretty... Wars and then this. He obviously dedicated his time to Star Wars. Does that make... You know what I'm saying? It feels pretty distinctly John Williams, but it's not an all-time classic the way the Star it's, Wars... Yeah, right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, Sorry Indiana it's not Star Wars, Chris. <laughs> Sorry it's not... It can't compete with the Imperial March. Indiana Jones. You fucking jerk. Star Wars. And then... There's like, a little no, Jaws nobody, reference. No, there is. But nobody mentions... 
Like, oh, the theme of Close Encounters. If you played Close Encounters theme, no one would be like, that's a Close Encounters theme. They would recognize Everybody the, would. the keyboard motif, but nothing else. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's yeah. that's hardly a song. <laughs> it's yeah. five notes. You hear a French horn playing a lead, and you're like, oh, this is John Williams. Right. Like, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so... Thoughts Coming from the guy who listens to Crowbar. He's like, five notes can't be a song. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's... It that that's like crowbar too. <laughs> that's for the record. Arguably a sound effect. Damn. Huh? It's ding, fucking ding, wana, wana. So that's oh, not a song. Okay. Alien were, from <laughs> Annihilation is not a song, is what you're saying. That is part of a larger song. What do you mean? <laughs> you st- that's not a song then. <laughs> Sounds like you didn't listen to part three of Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence by Dream Theater and it shows. That's like yeah. saying bing bong, bing bong. Bing bong is not a fucking song, dude. Yep, yep. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Not a song, according to Chris. That's a fucking song. What are you talking about? Turn it off before we get Chris DMCA. Chris totally doesn't like this song now, dude. <laughs> it's they, they Chris, play. I hate music, Collins. <laughs> Cut to the song that they're referencing. And it's just a bunch of fucking scientists going, play that. <laughs> they play fucking hot cross buns yeah. and you're like oh it's a fucking John Williams score fuck off that's <laughs> bullshit it's five notes so I play guitar see- hero Jing, 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 jing. Yeah. <laughs> They've got five buttons, literally. They're playing. That would be hilarious if they're playing Guitar Hero. Like, looking. Keep going. <laughs> it's like. Clank. They're, they're like handed to like Steve over in like the fucking like music department of the science lab. And it's like, it's a Guitar Hero controller. He's and like, I alien. told you we needed a music department here. <laughs> and the mothership <laughs> is playing Guitar Hero notes and they're like. Cut to the trumpet version or whatever. The oh, fuck. the trombone champ. <laughs> But anyways, let's get back to the actual movie, uh, Close Encounters. First thoughts. Uh, I thought, it, this is one of those movies that I thought I had seen a long time ago, and Same. apparently I haven't. Whoa. You know, like, it's Ow. so, like, there are films that are so classic and legendary that they're just, like, in yeah. the, the the sort of zeitgeist. You're like, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, like, of you course. You feel like you have. Yeah, you could never see Jaws and know everything that happens. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, as it started, I was like, shit, I haven't seen this. Like in my head, I was like extra ET, and then blah blah. blah. Like I just, I thought I'd seen it. I and thought, I thought the movie it conquered the world. This like alien movie from the fifties was Close Encounters from the Third Kind. Yeah, I thought War of the Worlds was this. Anyways, War of the Worlds, like yeah. the Tom Cruise one. No, the original. Oh, okay. Starring Goku from Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, <clears throat> yeah, the going into. This I was uh, um, excited because it's an alien movie, and I fucking love alien movies. Yeah. Um, but it's a happy alien movie. Yeah, kind of. So I was like, Chris is not gonna like this, right? Yeah, because he needs it has to be joy. Sad. Yeah, exactly. It right. Needs to be dark and dystopian. No, but uh, it's it kind of uh, more like alone and sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it it. Like, the whole movie doesn't allude to it being happy. It's kind of like, um, uh, oh no, a man leaves his family. Yeah, they leave. He's him. kind of a big piece. They leave him. They, his wife does freak the goddamn fuck out over like a pretty small. I'm gonna be real. I fell asleep for probably 20 minutes of this movie. Yeah, during when he started to lose, lose his mind. Yes, and that I, shit's filler as fuck. I woke up when he was wearing his clothes in the shower, and I was like, oh, I guess that's what happened. Well, yeah, like, yeah, it's mad. like a <clears throat> solid 30 minutes of him like throwing house plants into his house. Yeah, it's, be, it's yeah. stupid. To be quite frank, uh, the last 25 minutes of this movie are the price of admission. Exactly, hundred percent. Get there and faster. You literally don't need. Any it's 40 minutes that. too long yeah I, I i'd agree with that i like, like the stuff with a kid the little kid being abducted by aliens i, thought that I was don't give cool. a fuck let him die i Child don't give a shit dude yeah. yeah but like when he when he there are a lot of great shots with that like with the aliens coming to his house you know opening the door to the lights like th- yeah that, that shit was cool like great cinematography throughout yeah the abduction scene was cool that was fucking great that and then like i said the last 25 minutes yeah that's what this movie is 
and none of the Richard Dreyfus shit. Yeah. I like did not like him. At I all. didn't give. A I shit. didn't either. And dude, his character and dialogue, all the motivation seems so weird. He's like, so unlikable. That yeah. and and then like the a bad dad. Yep. Literally insane. Didn't he cheat on them before too? Probably. He, probably. He's a dad from the seventies. No, he made out with that woman in the in the wood in the mm. woods. Right. That wasn't his wife, was it? No. Right? She's making out with women in woods. I don't even remember if it was after they left or not. It was just irrelevant to me. And it yeah. was like, the dialogue was so fucking bad. Wasn't yeah. it? Where it was like, it seemed like a, like a fucking Joel movie. Like that. Oh, f- uh, like where it's like, this dialogue doesn't make any Neil sense. Neil Breen. Yeah, where he's like slapping like <clears throat> shaving cream on and he's just he's like, like, oh, it's the devil's. T- and, but yeah. we don't know it's the devil's tower yet. So we're just like, what is the deal with the whipped cream? Yeah. And he's just doing weird shit. And, and maybe. The argument is, yeah, he's losing his mind because he just had an encounter with the UFO. Sure, but it seemed so like even the 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 wife's dialogue was weird, and it's just like it was just where are the aliens? Like the the it doesn't have for me. It never hit like that that like draw of what's going on with the aliens, like other alien movies do. Right. It didn't hit that draw for me. No. Like usually in the end of an alien movie or everything any they space were doing movie, didn't make sense. Right. Right. It was just the mystery of why is he being like this, which was pushing the story. There wasn't conflict or like a solid like idea implanted into his no. mind. You know no. what I mean? No, I mean I was on board when, you know, it set up like they find like some old planes and they're like, where the fuck did these come from? That's mysterious. Yeah. And then it like the the radar thing where it's like, I've got a UFO and then, you know, it's that whole thing. Do you want to report really cool. it? Yeah. Do you want to report it? And they're all like, nah. Yeah, yeah. nah. Fucking why not? I don't want to fill out the paperwork for what that looks like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, yeah, the, the crosstalk during that intro though, I was like it's it was annoying as shit. The, the, the honestly, dude, the actual dialogue channel is bad. In That's movie. I had to turn yeah. on the subtitles. Me too. Yeah, and I was listening to it at a decent volume, but I was like, I literally can't differentiate what they're saying. Yeah, and they're speaking over each other so often. I'm glad you said that because like I thought it was just me. No audio channel was for shit. It's really bad. Yeah. It's mixed poorly or something, or maybe it's just mastered poorly. I watched the director's cut on Amazon. What'd you guys do? Yes, director's I'm cut. Pretty sure I did. Is it the one with the blue cover? Because there was two covers. I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't I know watched the director's cut. It only has three. You probably watched a special edition. You fucking tool. <laughs> fucking dumb. You bitch. Fucking little dick bitch boy. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you get to see inside the alien spaceship? I believe so. <laughs> you fucked up. Inside the alien spaceship. So the special edition features footage inside of the spaceship, like whenever Richard Dreyfus. Goes, goes in goes in oh and it shows inside of it oh i didn't see that did you no okay so it's well, i mean like, i've seen it direct I, so the director cut it out the special edition includes that footage so the Got reason it. why that was shot in the first place is because studio executives were like we need to see inside of the thing <sighs> no and spielberg was like no like i can't do this he's like i have reshoot shoots to do they're like if you film what's inside we'll give you money for reshoots and he's like okay and he filmed it in t- entirely content with removing it once, right. once they're done. But they filmed it, and in the special ed- edition, they include <clears throat> what okay. is inside of the spaceship. I didn't see that. And it's just fat. Is it just acids. a oh fuck? Just, just big dumpers. Big big fat asses. Big space dumpers. It's thick women from the seventies, which they're was- they're disembodied. Like they're not close encounters of the thick kind. Yo <laughs> <laughs> shit. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> Um. Yeah, you get to see what's inside, and it's just more lights. Okay. Yeah, don't need it. Who gives a fuck? But okay, I so, mean, who gives a fuck? Yeah. But going back to like, the, but the entire point is that you don't you want the mystery, right? Yeah. Speaking of mystery, what the fuck even happens here? <laughs> Come on, like really? Yeah. Like yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. I was intrigued. There was like a UFO abduction, the sun, the sunburn thing, like the loss of electronics. That's all like cool in lore alien, stuff. It's alien lore where it's like time lapses and weird like like losses of time, electronics going out, sunburns. People have talked about like bright lights and communication via light, like weird telepathy shit. Right. Where they're like, they were planting ideas in my head. It's like, all right, <laughs> you know, like it's it's like it's always written off as like crazy people right. shit, but. You know, at the time Spielberg was like, this is not a science fiction movie. He wanted, he's like, this is entirely based on facts like that I've gathered like reports from my research and reports. And he's like, there's no fiction to this. Yeah. He has a really uh, fascination with aliens. Since then, he's like, 
It's a science fiction movie. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. He like he's like, yeah, I grew up, and more people have cameras, and there's still no solid evidence of. It's because the aliens know we have cameras. Oh shit! Yeah, because um, the aliens gave us the cameras. Wow. Read the Mormon Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Just but, read it. Yeah. But to, uh, anyways, that's it. Yeah. So he, but he, you know, he did X- E. T. He did Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and so he always like has like a fascination and. Um, like he leans into the paranormal and the conspiracy a little bit. Yeah, but really quick, mm-hmm. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Do you hate that because everybody else does? No, I actually don't. I think it's just because it was like in. I saw it once. Mm. I mean, it's not. A, it's not outside of the trilogy. It's irrelevant. I mean, the trilogy yeah. is all you need. So the fact that they made more and it it also has one of the most, most atrocious chase scenes of all time. Does in it? Movie. Yeah, yeah. with them on Shia the side of the cliff. Yeah, I think that's crystal skull right yeah well i just i'm a sucker for aliens so in all the lore i mean there's grays there's reptilians there's like shape-shifting ones there's like ones that appear as light there's all kinds of like weird yeah. which are your favorites the, the small grays those the so the the little ones at the end of this yeah okay yeah those are apparently um i mean uh, they're the peaceful ones tall grays are um hostile. Appa- apparently hostile yeah yeah, the small grays are actually... Um, they're just chill just, as fuck, dude. Yeah, they're just vibing, dude. They're just like the pugs of the... Yeah, yeah exactly. And then the tall ones wrote fucking Hostile by Pantera. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, And the movie Hostiles, yeah. starring Christian Bale. And yeah. Hostile by Eli Roth. Oh, shit. Yeah. But the Crystal Skull is based on something real, like, a, like an actual artifact, which is pretty cool. That's cool. Shout out Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on the show. Yeah. Um, you weird fuck. Yeah, he's weird <laughs> you as weird. He's weird as shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's he's all in on the fucking alien shit. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. And ghosts. Have you seen any um unidentified yeah. flying objects? Really? Yeah, just lights though. It's yeah. like, was it a meteor? Or was it? I loved in the movie when they started it, where like the three orbs, like mm-hmm. the three UFOs, because like they're always traveling in that triangle sort of. Yeah, and then, and then they there's like separate. I like the that's little a common baby thing. Light. Crazy. That's a common thing. I like, like the little baby light that follows them. It's like, yeah. wait up, guys. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'm still behind you. Yeah. Have, like you, an, have you seen a UFO? Um, one time on the way to practice, uh, Udi and I saw a like a big green flash. And I don't honestly I don't know what that was. Yeah. But, yeah. I've seen something like that too. I was in Wisconsin on a boat at night, but I was a little drunk and a little high, but like <laughs> You know, you it doesn't make you hallucinate. Right, right. Yeah. So like I'm just sitting there and it, it looked like a meteor, but it was like coming down and then it kind of exploded out and then kind of flashed and got bigger and then it and then it was gone. I was like, okay, I don't know what the fuck. That's that. a meteor exploding in the atmosphere though. It's what it sounds like, but it was so fucking bright and weird looking. It didn't I mean, it literally could have been. Yeah. But it's unidentified and it's flying and it's probably an object, so People people say the word UFO and they think it's the saucer, right? Yeah. But it's literally unidentified yeah. flying and it's an object. It's a he different doesn't... term now. They use some other acronym. Yeah, don't you like how they had to? They tried to rebrand it now that like now that they genuinely government... confirmed. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. Like now they're calling it like an anomalies or something. Yeah, it's like they're trying to rebrand UFOs where it's like, no, it's not a UFO. It's we're an not... IVF. Yeah, we're not confirming UFOs. We're confirming flying things yeah. not flying on like they They're like re- by the way in this report uh aliens are real they have visited us and we do have their technology yeah yeah and then everyone's like okay and i'm like what the fuck yeah this is life-changing shit i know right and then that was like in the trump era and it's yeah like, and the news was just trump tweets you know so it was like like uh, oh by the way the fucking fbi and cia confirmed with like n- naval pilots that they see these regularly yeah on all the time like all like it's like not yeah. even worth reporting like and they, they fly yeah. and they're like yep there's a cigar shaped thing again and it just zipped into the water okay uh, yeah no it literally, they're like unfazed now they're yeah, literally yeah. like like if the world is a game if the world is an rts the ships are the mouse cursor like it's just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah. yeah they don't even understand and another thing is they're like they go underwater. They're not propelled by anything. Yeah. They they use like this weird gravity. They bend space time to move. That's, a that's, theory. that's the most. That's the most crazy I'll get is the fact that like I do believe. Yeah. That exists. Yeah, I do too. But like, it's not like. Yeah, it's. I, I wanna. I want to believe. <laughs> but yeah, the the theory is instead of propelling across like 
physical space. Are you going to do the... What, the notes? No, like, this is what they do. So... They push the world around them. Yeah, so if a jet in our current technology has to get from here to here, we just fly in a straight line. What they do is they fold space-time, and when they just jump from here to there, and what that we perceive that as like a zip. They're like, what the fuck was that? There was yeah. no propulsion, there was no nothing, and they're just literally... They're interdimensional beings. Dude. Right. It's be, and then... Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. It's completely. No one asked me if I bam, ever saw bam, bam, boom, we were, da, da, we were about da, da, da. to. Have you ever seen an alien? Yeah, dude. This one time I was going downstairs to get a glass of milk on Christmas Day, and I'm like, "Yep, I'm about to see Santa. I feel somebody moving around." Turns out it was a little gray, a little gray man. Well, great, man. Did you give it any milk? I was like, dude. And he's like, the fuck's up? If you think that's strange, you should see how we pee. I've seen some stuff in Texas, too, when just driving. But it, again, it's like one of those things where it's like. Could it be? Could yeah. It not be? Also, have you ever been driving and you just see like some floating lights that are not stars? Right. Because they're they you can perceive them cl- being as closer than stars. Like they're they're floating somewhere. They could be, but they don't move. And you're just like, hmm, fuck are you doing up there, yeah. asshole? It's just like, you know, what, what the fuck is that? Huh? Yeah, it reminds me of the time I saw a biblically accurate angel in the sky one time, <laughs> <laughs> and it's one thousand eyes and mouths were revolving around a center point that didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, dude. I want Top Gun three to be aliens, Let's, dude. That would be sick. That would be if they amazing. add in aliens. <laughs> Tom Cruise <laughs> is <laughs> he, he <laughs> is going to space for a movie, right? He is. Boom. Shit. He's going there just for Scientology reasons. If if fucking if Maverick doesn't man a flying saucer in Top Gun three, I'm not buying a ticket. I simply won't. I'm ever see fucking it. out. That's gonna be the tease. You know the teaser at the end of the trailer, like yeah. the one in Top Gun Maverick trailer was him getting into like that, that crazy prototype bomber thing. Yeah. In the Next Top Gun 3, it's going to be like, I can see it now. It's going to be like, Maverick, we're calling you in again. He's like, I really didn't think uh, I was going to do this. And they're, all, they're called orders, Maverick. And he's like, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and then the music starts. And then it's like, we've got an unidentified flying object. And he's like, do you mean UFOs? And he's like, no, I mean flying anomalies. And he's like, okay, you're, we're rebranding this, right? And he's like, yes, we are. And then he's like, we need you to fly up there and get to the bottom of this. Oh, shit. And he's like, and then, dude, Hangman actually is a gray man. Oh, oh, shit. oh shit! And then cuts to them all playing volleyball on the beach, like, yeah. like oiled up. But it's fucking. And there's like one like three foot tall gray like yeah. guys. Pass me the ball. <laughs> they fucking <laughs> spike in a blitter. <laughs> so fucking pop, he just pops into gray fluid. You're just like, oh fuck. Oh shit! shit. And then that's COVID nineteen. Yep. <laughs> and that's how that happened. And that's yeah. how it happened. Anyways, yeah, I the. Uh, Aliens are neat. Anyways, back to Anyways, Close Encounters. Close encounters. Uh, the point I was trying to make way earlier was what happens in this movie, really? There's, uh, a, there's He goes to a fucking mountain. The government's like, you can't be at this mountain. And he's like, okay. And yep. then he sneaks back in. And then he fucks some other lady that's not his wife. Yep. yep. And then The aliens. makeout scene was so fucking weird. Yeah. That, like, and he's like still looking in the sky. And she's like kissing his mouth. And he's like... Like all of it was just so odd. Like the the human behavior in this was not right. Does You're that right. make any sense? Yeah. yeah. Or it was like not for like a Spielbergian no like family fun adventure. It's like this is this guy's fucked up. I yeah. don't like this guy. No. Right. Bad dad. You could cut forty five minutes of it with the most elaborate. I'm going to get cigarettes of all time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly, dude. It's it, like I'll be right back. I just gotta fucking <laughs> travel. <laughs> <laughs> to Travel to Wyoming. Universe. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta go to Wyoming and then the universe, dude. Yeah. Um I'm taking the kids to my sisters. There was a shot of model trains in there, and I thought that was obviously a shout out to obviously. the Fablemans or his his past, basically. But uh um Which dude, you appreciate. I do. Dude, I thought it was so funny the uh the when they were chasing, like the cop cars were chasing the UFOs. Like what ima- the fuck the, are you gonna stop do? at the toll booth? Yeah. And also, is it, she is the shittiest mother of all time. Yeah. He, he runs outside and she's like, Barry? And he's like, Meh, and just runs into the field. <laughs> and then and then cut to him 
like three miles away. Like, yeah. like how do you even do that? How she still hasn't caught him? Like one of your strides is six of his. What's your problem? Also, then he's standing in the middle of the road, and there's like an Appalachian family, I guess, like just watching him. Like, let's see if he dies. Yeah. Like, it, I was. I thought those were supposed to be aliens. Like, hu- like, like they're observing or humanoid. Something. Yeah. yeah, I thought they were like shape shifting or something because they were behaving so weird. But no, nah, they were just they're like, just hillbillies. Just more weird behavior in this movie. Yeah, that did, had no motivation. But he was in the middle of the street, almost gets hit by a car, then. She is in the ditch with him after, like, he almost dies, and he gets up and runs away, and she's like, oh, gosh, darn it. Like, right after she l- lost her kid, got her kid, loses him again, and Barry's just fucking with Whee! his toddler strides, like, making his at, way downtown. Walking fast. At this point, just throw him over the fucking highway rail. Yeah. I mean, what are you... He's useless. Yeah, and He's he had, hopeless. He had some of the best acting in the movie, though. You know, Stanley Kubrick was actually so impressed by his acting, he wanted to cast this kid as uh, Danny in The Shining. What? Yeah, but he was busy. He booked on. He was, he was on busy with shit. shapes. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he stayed booked and busy, dude. <laughs> I'm slammed right now. I got I got these rhombuses. I got a trapezoid. <laughs> Still working on a yeah. square. Trying to get kind of, trying to get the square in the round hole. And that boy time. grew up to be Luca Giancino, the director That's of Call right. Me by Your Name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh so Oh fuck, not that guy. The Luca Magnata. <laughs> the guy who did Triangle of Sadness. I forgot his fucking name. Oh, yeah. Ruben Osland. There you go. Yeah. Great. Uh but yeah, the abduction scene was. I mean, of course he was going to get abducted. She can't even save him from leaving the house. So of She's course, an fucking aliens, useless. Yeah, he crawls through a fucking doggy door. A doggy door and is abducted by aliens, dude. Yeah, like, she's not bad mom. Him. She's dude. not even holding him, and he just crawls away. Honestly, every child in this movie is a piece of shit. <laughs> the okay, it opens on okay. Richard Dreyfus's family. One of his sons is beating the shit out of a doll. Yeah, yeah. no one says anything. They're just bad I, parents. I assume there was no direction for that scene, and Spielberg's just like, just be your piece of shit kid self, <laughs> and he fucking ruins a toy, and then the other kid is like, I guess mad that they're they fucking suck. The kids yeah. are nonsensical in this, yeah, for sure. Uh, this is before Steven Spielberg had kids. Gives a and he fuck about Spielberg's kids. He, he regrets that the father leaves at the end, because if he were a father at the time, he would have known that Richard Dreyfus never would have left. Well, I think it his, speaks to the family, control of the aliens or something that he. They're not controlling them. him, or yeah, but the like the magnetic aspect of like I have to seek this out. You yeah, know what like I mean? that invite of the mountain. Yeah, would you was, go? Would you leave your family? Of course. I mean. For an Hypothetically, alien? for an to meet an alien race that's like communicated with me briefly and made me lose my mind and want like if it was imp- imprinting a landmark in my head like go here yeah I'd be like fucking what's up do they have Netflix fucking what's up yeah they got like we got like every streaming service like wait can I come back on Sunday I have a podcast to do yeah I got to talk about right. this on Sunday yeah right but uh, and they're like dude time is nothing and I'm like oh oh fuck I forgot and they're like time is a flat circle I'm oh, like, oh shit I knew it you're right I have I seen heard, True Detective I've, I've heard that and then you die before you get to their first destination yep because you're human yep. yeah and they're like alright we're gonna we're gonna time for stop number one and I'm like and I explode into red dust <laughs> yeah they're like make sure you put on your seatbelt and then you don't and then they accelerate to a trillion light years per second yeah and I become like- a red Splat on the back of their wall. And they're yeah. like, oh shit, this. What have I done? My brains are going into my feet. You just become an amoeba or a fucking a newt or something. Yeah. <laughs> become a fucking salamander, dude. <laughs> you, they go so fast that you never existed. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Tom Cruise is like, I want to go that fast. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing my own stunts it's all practical they get a real saucer and really do it <laughs> anyways uh yeah so back to my main point i've been trying to say <laughs> yeah. what the fuck happens the there's a few instances of ufo which is <clears throat> interesting sets up a nice and but and then 45 minutes of him losing his mind going i want to go to this fucking mountain and everybody else acting weird and stupid and then they finally go to this mountain base and then there's there's like some military things set up there and i guess 
it's not even really talked about, which I liked. Like, they yeah. don't really tell you what's been going on. Like, it's a different department ha- handling the alien shit. Totally. Yeah. It's like just a French guy. Like, we oui, oui, uh, I play the notes. Like, uh, the here's only our the expert. French could well, do that. Yeah, but like, yeah, only the French could come in there. And, that guy's and, a director, by the way. Francois Truffaut. Is he really? Yeah. Francois Truffaut. How oh. the fuck did you know that? I've seen him before. I don't know. I'm autistic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> so the callbacks. Um, but yeah, it's like all he does is is like, trust me, I think there's some hand signals and some notes. like The aliens and, and that nobody, don't have human hands? Right. And yeah, he's and just no, fucking like... Uh, yeah, he's... Uh, 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 uh. They're like, we actually got gang members to handle <laughs> this part. Yeah. And they're like... We're in physical media gang. They never got... Oh, that's true. Oh, shit. It's like a Blu-ray. Yeah. It <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> it's like <getting> sign. <laughs> fucking anyways uh so yeah this guy just like plays some and, then, and not one person in this super secret science department is like what makes you think this is gonna do anything and like they're just literally playing synth back and forth too i wish they got like a really fucked up dude that doesn't really know how to play keyboard on that they're like hit a, an octave down from that, and he's like, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, no, an octave, and he's like, okay, got it. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, it was such a weird scene that you think like, okay, he's like, all right, here's in the fire in the flame. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Alan Parsons' project. Check this shit out, dude. He's <laughs> like, so what do the aliens want to listen to? I don't know, Jethro Tull. Probably Frank Zappa. <laughs> <laughs> um, he starts playing Journey. Uh, yeah. So they start communicating with synth, and he mo- they mostly observe from the hill, and then he goes down, and then I guess after a few synth notes, they deem it worthy to come down and say hi. They're like, these guys are chill. Yeah, they then, know keyboard, and then they come down. <laughs> and you, the funniest part to me was they had no idea what they were saying. They're like, fuck yeah, John Tesh is down there too. They're like, if you play these notes back at us, you will all be anally <laughs> by aliens. Yeah, and, and then like a ban a wan Yeah. And the aliens land, but there's even a line spoken by one of the guys. He goes, we have no idea what we're saying. <laughs> he goes, he goes, he's like, bomb us. Yeah. Destroy the earth. <laughs> and they're like, they're asking for <laughs> it. They told us to. They, they must be like, anyways. They dropped the earth, the, the earth killer. Yeah. Fucking yawn. Just one big light ray. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> They turn everybody into Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> and then fucking long boys like come get it. Yeah. yeah. And there's like, Yonk. There's, one, <laughs> there's one he pulls a big like killer lever and yeah. just fucking And then there's one Chris Collins alien that comes out. Long boy. Yeah. Long boy, yeah. And Starring Chris Collins. There's like one shot of it and then it goes away. It's so and weird. Like, I would have loved to see more of that. Yeah. But. He kind of looked like the the men in black. Oh, the, belt in, inside the oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah, that little man's. Oh shit, that's my, that's my man's. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if that, you changed his hand, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> I wish I had Photoshop. Then that. he makes a fucking that. gravity bong out of his dad's cooler in the garage. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that. Okay. The, but like the fucking like come at me. Yeah. Like, behold with this yeah. fucking like no muscle definition whatsoever. No, he's a fucking twit. He looks like a giant. He looks like a mantis. stick bug. Yeah. Yeah, a stick bug. Dude, he me. looks like a bed frame that you like. You <laughs> fucked up. You're trying to pick it up all yeah, at once. Like, God it's damn like, it! Oh we fuck! Put the wrong side over here, and this one's upside down. <laughs> fucking shit! We got to take the whole thing apart. Yeah. He's like, it's like the dawn of the twink is what he was. He was just like, oh, it's like, oh my God, the ultra twink. And then Timothy Chalamet came out of him. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> ultra twink. So this scene was the, the last 30 minutes or so, which Spielberg says was his, the hardest thing he's ever done was to edit this scene. I, I believe know. that. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. I <laughs> sure, sure. Whatever. whatever. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm, the I'm, end of close encounters. <laughs> 1977 with UFOs on screen. Look, yeah, dude, yeah. Cut to my work. The biggest boy you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Our beef is higher grade than most steaks. You've never had a boogie like this. <laughs> it says lettuce. Go home and get your boogies. We got the best boogies. Sure, whatever. Ever had mustard? <laughs>
It's yellow. Oh, uh-huh. our boogies are made with the best boogie. <laughs> You mean the boogie meat from the farm. Yeah. Grass fed boogie. <laughs> Come get your boogie. Yeah. Um But I in every other alien movie or space science fiction movie, at the end I'm at the on the edge of my seat. Like Annihilation, yeah. uh two thousand one. Like pretty much the finale of any alien movie, I'm like, oh shit, what's gonna happen? It's what are they the gonna say? Peak. It's yeah. the peak. And for this I was just like and what's happening here? Like I was like, like there, it, there's a moment of greatness, and then it sort of de-escalates. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it wasn't suspenseful to me. They kind of came out and like, like, hey, just whatever. They were just like, yeah, like after playing five notes, they came down and just, and then he did a hand signal. They all smile and they take off, and then they're like, big success! Yeah, everybody well, we starts did celebrating, it. and I'm like, you, nothing happened. Yeah, like yeah. okay, you got some people were abducted. Like, what was the point of all of this? Yeah, some people got abducted and they came back out of the ship. That was the only moment where I was like, whoa. Yeah, they were yeah. all white. Hmm. Hmm. What if Amelia Earhart came out? That would be pretty cool. That would have been a good... It would be a big twist. I don't know how they would reveal that to the viewer. She'd have to be like, wow, I'm Amelia Earhart, and this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I don't know. You, don't, you really don't know? No. She's a woman who is supposed to make... The first like female pl- pilot, and then she got... <laughs> Oh, no. She was supposed to be the, fir- <laughs> oh, the first the no. first woman to make a, the transatlantic flight. Oh. And she never arrived and everyone was like, "Where'd she go?" <laughs> oh, Jesus. And that was like 100 years ago. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sure she's fine. Yeah, she's probably chilling. Yeah. But uh yeah, then the movie just kind of ends, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It just, just ends. It just ends. And it's like, "All right. Honestly, right, dude, beat me up, Scotty, and that's it." Arguable, I think Arrival's better. It's a more interesting space movie. A uh, thousand percent, I agree with you. Yeah. Oh, so you agree with me? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, was, I had the hot take. I don't think it's a hot take. I had the hot take that well, I mean, we all have. He's better. seen it a thousand times. Yeah. I mean, you could ask me what line is spoken at an hour and ten minutes. What line is spoken at an hour and ten minutes? It's silent during that part. So <laughs> nice. Well, at what point do they say the the title of the film in the, in the film? Well, what's the line? The the aliens. It looks as if. Today is their arrival, and that's at um, it's thirty seconds into the movie. <laughs> <laughs> right after the title card, no, right after he says that smash cuts the title card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's time for the aliens' arrival. Doom, doom, arrival. <laughs> and then uh, September by Earth, Wind, and Fireplace. So- <laughs> I'll I'll make it happen. I'll cut it together. The aliens, it looks as if today is their arrival. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, Arrival is a better alien movie than this. Yeah. What's your favorite alien movie? Hmm. Fuck. That's a hard question. Mine might have to be under the skin. (sighs) That's a really, really good one. Arguable, she's an alien. You could you could argue it. What do you think of the special effects in this movie? I think they're great. They're really good, right? What's your favorite alien movie? Fuck. Hold on. Let me Google <laughs> alien movie so I can pick one. Oh, I just want to say the special effects. Uh, Douglas Trumbull. Same guy that did 2001 Space Odyssey. Ooh. That's why it looks so good. I'm going to say either Contact or Arrival. For your favorite alien movie? Yep. Oh, Interstellar. Mm, they're not aliens. It's... They're us. Oh, you're right. All right. In that case, the movie Alien. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, yeah, fair. Yeah, I changed my answer to Alien. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it takes priority over under the skin. Also, didn't Alien come out before this? Seventy no. seventy nine. Okay, yeah. so two years after. I'm I'm sticking with Contact. It's a, it's a fucking amazing movie. It's a good movie. We should. I wa- desperately wanted to do that for the show, and then everyone else was like fucking who framed roger rabbit and i was like you fucking idiots contact is so good that while i was watching this movie i would genuinely the whole time i was like i wish we did contact this week mm. so fucking. i good. wish we did triangle sadness but that's not as accessible yeah we can still do that though true when it comes out on streaming we can when it, it when it's available to rent well let's do it yeah Maybe. I mean, I own it, so I don't have to worry about it. You People know. dig these older episodes, though. The older movie yeah, episodes. that's pretty cool. They're, they are more accessible. That's what they have going for them. Citizen like, Kane next week. Ugh. Ugh. 
<laughs> we'll never do dude, that. Dude, I don't want to. I can't wait to never do it. My dad tried to get me to watch Citizen Kane when I was like 10 years old. Why the fuck would he do that? Because he was like, my son's going to be a cinephile. And I was like, fucking fuck off. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Just bleep that out. I will. Yeah. What did you say? He said, "Fucking fuck off." <laughs> <laughs> to your dad. <laughs> but like that, recommending Citizen Kane to somebody is like it's such a douchebag move. It's, it's, a, it's, it's like a fucking it's a, an assignment at school. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, it's like what cinephiles a think a cinephile movie is. If that yeah. makes any sense, it's like recommending the fucking crucible to someone to read after their adulthood yeah. it's like it's, oh you want to read how about the bible <laughs> yeah i don't know it, it just seems like such a <clears throat> like a cliche of a cinephile movie where yeah it's like citizen kane oh movie. it's number one in the criterion club oh, so how about we be. talk about evil dead for the fucking 1000th time hey yeah. it's a better movie Evil Dead 2013 up. fucking fuck so hard oh but orson wells was he had such jowls oh yeah. my god oh. Is carried by the script. He would have another heart attack if he saw a modern film. You know, if you had to, dude, imagine Orson Welles coming back, and we can only pick one movie for him to watch. What would immediately kill him? Oh fuck! What's Interstellar. The- That's mm. a good one. Um, He'd be like, "Yeah, Susan Kane's not that good." I'm gonna go with Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> yeah. <Fast> and <laughs> store. <laughs> that would be hilarious. That scene where the rock form. is eating coffee. <laughs> that like let's show him that and but say this is what won best picture this year. Not yeah, in, but like completely lie to yeah, him. Yeah, but just send him into a theater alone and be like, this is what cinema, this is peak cinema. And now. he has the fucking dirty deeds heart attack that yeah! <laughs> 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 Dirty Deeds. <clears throat> what is I heard Dirty Deeds, Mr. Deeds. <clears throat> um, Mr. Deeds. Uh, <laughs> dirty Deeds. <laughs> Done dirt cheap. <laughs> dirty <laughs> Deeds. Just goes, ah, and then fucking. <laughs> Filthy acts at a reasonable Straight price. Straight through a fucking. Yeah. Uh, I would show him Human Centipede 2. Nice. Nice. Specifically the second one. I'd show him Thanksgiving. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Thanks- oh, Terrifier. Is- W- terrifier would be good. We haven't. Uh, we should have done Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving, yeah. That we said that last year. Yeah, I just forget that it exists, and it's always too late. We got to talk about a Christmas movie. We got to figure out what we're gonna do for that. It's a Wonderful Life. I, f- I got that. Fuck on, that. I stole that on VHS from my parents the other day. Wow, wow. it's a great movie. Anyways, anything else on Close Encounters of the Third <clears throat> Kind? I'm ready to wrap this up. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we hardly talked about it. I mean, <laughs> fuck it. I mean, who cares? We went over what happens. What are we going to fucking give you the bonus features, the fucking history of yeah, it, the making of? It's like you're listening to three guys shitting around, okay? It's a legendary UFO movie, but I think it's it's carried by the special effects. Yeah. For 1977, it's just like all the flashing lights. <clears throat> you can crazy. tell this is like what made J.J. Abrams oh, yeah. into lens flares. You know what I mean? Like this is the birth of his spielberg like love. That ship, dude, was fucking oh, gorgeous. It was amazing. Amazing. You know, uh, R2-D2 is on it, like on the actual ship. Really? Yeah. So like on the outside of the ship, they they were adding a bunch of shit to it because obviously it's a very tedious thing to do. Sure. So all of the the uh, the mini- miniature artists, mm-hmm. all of their names are engraved on it. That's cool. Oh, that's fun. There's a mini R2-D2. There's a uh, mailbox <laughs> on it, like on, on the outside. So if you look it up, it's really interesting. Uh, there's bunch a bunch of little Easter eggs. It's on uh, display at the Smithsonian. Oh, that's really cool. Of uh, Nature and Sciences, like that division. The big museum. But anyways, um, it's fucking neato. I would love to see that in person. Nice. Cool shit. Yeah. Anyways. Okay, let's go. Dumb movie title for oh, a wait. encounter. All right. This is Cinema with Marty Scorsese. Do you like how I'm just like the Manchurian candidate? Like you play that and I'm just like, here's what I say now. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cinema with Marty Scorsese. We have to determine whether or not close encounters of the third kind. What is the third kind? Aliens. What is it? The th- what is it? What are, the, what are the first three kinds? I don't know. I don't know why it's called this. The inanimate objects. Animate objects, aliens. No. All right. False. The first kind is a UFO sighting. The second kind is seeing a UFO or seeing an alien. Okay. Okay. Like visually seeing an alien. Okay. And three is actually physically communicating and or talking with an alien. All right. That is the third kind. That was kind of the third kind. All right. 
cool. Is That's it cinema? interesting. <clears throat> is it cinema? Yep. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's hard to say it's not. Yeah. Uh, it's cinema. But does it belong in the one true format of four? Mother fucking three, 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 three. three, three. According to uh, Zach Snyder, Chris has two versions of it and four, three. It's pretty neat. That was the pretty silver cool. one's pretty cool. Yeah. I love that one. It's like laminated too. It's like laminated. It's nice. The collector's edition. Oh. So you own it? I do. Is it four three? No. It's not. Agreed. It's simply not. I don't fall the asleep. The dad in four, ruins this movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't fall asleep <clears throat> in four three movies. Yeah. For uh, Richard Dreyfus is bad. I, I don't like him. Required two sittings for me. Did you know that uh, he was not the first choice, Richard Dreyfus? Mm. He reached out to Steve McQueen, Jack Nicholson. Wow. <laughs> uh, among others. It would have been a way better movie with Jack Nicholson just because yeah. it would make sense for him to leave his family. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Facts. Somehow it's more like yeah. in character. I believe it. You're right? Yeah. He's a bad guy. <laughs> He's just getting head he just, while eating at the same time. He's just a fucking hedonistic lifestyle. Right. Dude. Yeah. He just He's a meatball sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. All right. That was. Uh, yep. Was it four three for you? For no. The rec- oh wow. No. Okay. Fine. He fell asleep. <laughs> I, as did I. Yeah. I I stopped it somewhere in the middle when he was losing his mind. I had to come back a day later to finish it. I was like, this is boring as fuck right yeah. now. And then I pressed pause and I saw it had an hour left and I was like, nope. <laughs> I'll do this later. And I did. <clears throat> Dumb movie title for Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Uh, I'll go first. Uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind and World's Greatest Dad. Mm. That's the good. universe's greatest dad. Oh, shit. Because these aliens. Galaxy. All right. Uh, Galaxy Quest. The fucking the do dee dee do do. That's your DMT. That's a DMT. <laughs> Five notes. Doobie doobie do. Doobie F- C. And I want to be leave. I want to be leave. Leave. But oh, got it. Okay. I simply don't even have one worth mentioning. Alrighty. Yeah. What about not worth mentioning? Do you have one? No. Okay. <laughs> or, or you could just do I want to leave. <clears throat> I want to leave is good. Yeah. But I wanted to say I want to be leave. I get it. All right. Mm. Mm. You said close encounters of the turd kind. Yeah. I hope you know that. <laughs> I hope you fucking know that you said that. It's something. And it I'm up. proud of it. it, sums <laughs> it up. You fucking cocksucker. <laughs> you fucking bitch. You piece of fucking dog shit. Go blow your dad. <laughs> Go blow your <laughs> dad. <laughs> That's why you tune your guitar and <laughs> tuning. <laughs> Uh, box office? Yeah. How much did this movie cost to make? This was back when one dollar was worth like a billion dollars. This was yeah. like a hundred years ago. So yeah. I'm gonna guess a hundred million <laughs> to make this movie in 1977. Yeah. All right, I'll go twelve million. <laughs> I'll go with thirty-five. Alexa, how much did the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind cost to make? From MovieWeb.com, Close Encounters of the Third Kind was a huge box office hit, earning over $300 million worldwide from a $20 million production budget. Ooh. So you said 12? Yeah, you won. Damn. I was so close, though. You were really close, yeah. Yeah. How about Richard Dreyfuss movies? Fuck, man. I'm fucked. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Steven Spielberg movies. Let's go. All right, let's fucking go, dude. You want it? You want you want the smoke, bitch? <laughs> you want, this shit, you want to fuck around? You're gonna find out. Close Encounters. Indiana Jones. Oh fuck. <laughs> Jaws. Jurassic Park. Schindler's List. West Side Story. Saving Private Ryan. The Fablemans. Mm. Bridge of Spies. Motherfuck. I'm out. Why are you staring at me? You got a problem? <laughs> you got a problem, no, motherfucker? No, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Steven Spielies. Uh, the Adventures of Tintin. Oh, my God. He did it. I know, but... Ugh. Shit. <clears throat> AI? 
He did that, right? The big fucking giant. That's not a movie. <laughs> the BFG. <laughs> the BFG. The big fucking cock sucking giant. <laughs> That's the full title. <clears throat> um, the BFC. <laughs> the BBC Shit. FG. God damn it. Fuck. I know I'm like forgetting like an obvious one. Yeah. E.T. Mm. The extraterrestrial. Yeah. Uh, catch me if you can. Mm. Eat my fucking shorts. You know what's funny is like before we did this episode, I knew we were going to do Steven Spielberg and I had all these in my head. And then like in the moment, it's like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck. Steven Spielberg. Yeah, I'm out. Munich. Uh, that's mm, a good movie. Nice. That's a really good movie. Yeah. Let's fucking go. I forgot about okay, that one. Let's go. <sighs> What's that animated movie he did? The Animatrix. <sighs> oh, Ready Player One. Oh, that there's that, but there was something else I'm thinking of. Adventures of Tintin. That might have been it. Fuck. Whatever. Yeah. Thanks for listening to There's Many Movies. Uh, dumb fucking movie. Don't check out Close Encounters, I guess. I mean, you do. It's good. Check good. out the last 25 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Watch the last 30. Yeah. And w- going in without context, you have as much context as you would have had if you watched the whole thing, honestly. Yeah. TBH. He's right. IRL. Later, Toads. Yeah. B. Hey, uh, fucking give us five bucks on Patreon. You didn't pitch a fucking Patreon. God That's damn it. it. I'll cut it in earlier. <laughs>